My name is Anna Kolo Ferrani. I'm from Delft at Informal Settlement called Polar Park. I'm an activist, a youth leader of Indivano and Land and Housing School. I'm also a student. And the challenges that we are facing in our community is that we don't have electricity, and clean running water, and also toilets. Uh, for toilets, um, men and women, some men and other women are using a public space, which is very unsafe for them. And then clean running water, we only have one tap. And it's not in the section, but it's in a part, in a part away when clean. So, uh, for children to go and fetch water is very difficult for them because they they can't go on the street, they can't go off road because of the the cars. There's it was the main road, so it's very very busy. For me, as a male, I feel uncomfortable because. Uh, maybe someday, one day, we may wake up that tape is being taken off by those gangsters, we don't know, and we can't find the gangsters. Me as a woman, like, I feel unsafe, uncomfortable, like, but it is what it is. I have to survive, I have to get up and make some home. And for me, it's uncomfortable and it's very unsafe because, unsafe because we are using buckets to take our things off for toilets and taking them to the wind. Sometimes, let's say uh, my timing is running, it's late, 12 o'clock, or not, what am I supposed to do? It's very, very unsafe for me to stay in that informal settlement, but I have no choice because I have no other place to go. We can't share one tab, we have to have more tabs and then also to have more. Uh, toilets, we don't have toilets at all. To have more toilets, each household must, ha may have, may, must have a toilet. And also to have light electricity because the electricity that you are using is very dangerous. People like they are dying because of it. Also to have light for the safety of our children, for the safety of everyone because we also have the pensioners. Thing, so I imagine. Our colleagues are dying.